वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सुमायुक्त बिंदवन मनोहर वाशा कल्पतरुश के पास व्यवच पतिदान पावन भो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचाल पंगुलंघयति गिर यहाँ वंदे परमाधव बिंदा वै तुलसी देव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्ण भक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत् नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति युक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगो ध्यय सदा परिभवन भविष्यूहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचन तम शरण्यम गीतात्म पुनपाल भवादिपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरणिंद यदपल्लवन कचंदवनी छटाय विस्फुरीजीत कि गोधुर्शर्शि पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति शाराधि का वै कदा श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तन कवितरु कमलायुताक्ष विशाम बरु द्विज बरु जुगधर्म पालो बंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाभकारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तव पाद पंकज सुरासुरवंदित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनीम भावाण सदाण गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित वाम भाग नारायण प्रियमनंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुष्वदने लक्ष्मीजश च भक्षसी जस्ती संसिंगम भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे यकर्म भीर यपसा गैन वैराग्यत योगेन दाम दान धर्मेन श्रेयो भीतरपी सर्व मधुक्ति योगेन मदभक्तो लभते अंजसा 
सर्गापर्गम्यम कथंचिद यदि वंचति यत्कर्म भीतपसा ज्ञान वैराग्यत जुगेन दान धर्मेन श्रेय भीतरपी सर्व मद्भुक्ति मद्भक्त लवतेजसा सर्गापर्गम मध्याम कथंचिद यदि वंचति गौड़ी गोष्ठीपति श्री शिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपा टोल्ड जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट ऑल द जीवाज इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इट इज द एब्सोल्यूट इट इज द एब्सोल्यूट मंगल फॉर ऑल द जीवाज वॉट इज दॉट इज द एक्चुअल मंगल फॉर ऑल द बॉन्डेड सोल्स Shri Dhar Prabhu was speaking this that that under the lotus feet of Lord Krishna, Lord Shri Krishna, to take shelter at the lotus feet of Lord Shri Krishna. This is the topmost. Uh, this is the topmost uh, Mangal Mai Vastu, and is the Mangal Mai Vastu for all the bonded souls. And uh, there is nothing more Mangal Mai than this. to to take the bonded soul onto the lotus feet of lord shri krishna and to make him serve lord krishna under the guidance of the guru var that is the topmost benefit jeeva krishna charan mein to get them to take them under the shelter of lord krishna to take all the bonded soul under Lord, uh, under the shelter of Lord Krishna, all the kipa given by the Vaishnava, and to make them uh, do bhajan under the guidance of the Rupa no Guru Varg, that is the topmost benefit of a uh, materially bonded jiva. There is no other benefit other than this. All the big, all those topmost Vaishnav just want to give a Krishna bhajan to those bonded soul. They always wanted to give a Krishna bhajan, Krishna bhakti to every jiva, every bonded jiva. That is the that is the topmost uh, uh, daan. That is the topmost uh, kipa given by a Vaishnav in the heart of the. the bhakti which is there inside the heart of all the vaishnavas the bhakti that bhakti is present there and there is always uh, that uh, they are my bhav inside their heart that they have to take every jiva every bonded soul uh, under the shelter of uh, krishna charan to give them bhakti is their final goal to to have relationship with bhagwan and what bhagwan is to understand that this it has is called the absolute gyan in the shastras also it is written that that uh, whatever vidya present in this world whosoever will take that but in shastra it is written that the topmost vidya uh the which is uh, present in the heart of those uh, mahabhagavat vaishnavas those who have taken shelter of shri krishna charan in shrimad bhagavat ji mahapurana also it is written uh, that who can understand the granth bhagavat and bhakt bhagavat then there then his vidya is vidya bhagavat bhakti he has a topmost vidya inside his heart whatever vidya whatever uh, study you you take on Uh, but it, in the shastra it is written that if you want to uh, accept some vidya then uh, the bad bhagavat avadi is the topmost vidya which you have to uh, take shelter of rai ramanand also by when mahaprabhu was uh, discussing about uh, the rai ramanand samvad uh, uh, chitanya mahaprabhu was asking questions to rai ramanand that 
that uh, uh, mahaprabhu was uh, questioning uh, uh, rai ramanand that which is the top most vidya there are lot of uh, vidya present there so which is the top most vidya and rai ramanand is speaking krishna rai ramanand is answering that without krishna bhakti there is no top most vidya present anywhere in this whole universe not in this world but in the whole universe because uh, the source of all the vidya is bhagwan shri krishna and prabhupad also speaking and in the in this modern era in this modern time where there is some godless education is being preached godless education which is preached everywhere this should be actually stopped and uh, this is actually preached everywhere and all the bonded jeevas actually they are make uh, is becoming a uh, distress and a moment of unhappiness for them because there is no uh, uh, kind of happiness present there for them only the vidya only the only the shiksha given by this godless uh, vidya godless education is just making uh, all asuras and rakshasas because all these material education present they are making them asura and rakshas only not bhaj- or not bhakts shila bhakti no thakur also speaking that bhakti no thakur also uh, answering this question uh, in a very uh, smart way that all the material vidya all the material study which is present which is actual uh, thron in the uh, thron in the way of uh, bhagavad bhajan that should be avoided tumar bhajane badha anit sansare moh janmi ajib ke kare gadha jibo ko gadha banake rakha diya that that it is making all the jeevas like a dumb ass this is not uh, uh, this is just an indication that uh, if you are doing all the material education on your mind then there will be a lot of burden in your uh, mind as well as on you there will be a lot of pressure like uh, shila teerth ko swami maharaj wanted to study uh, barrister uh, at that time uh, at that time our keshav prabhu that uh, disciple of uh, shila prabhupada only he uh, just uh, asking teerth maharaj that you be there uh, under the guidance of guru vaishnav and to take the prasadam of goran mahaprabhu and to always hear hari katha from guru vaishnav bhagwan and everywhere and every corner there is guru vaishnav and if you if you will study barrister then you will get the job but uh, what uh, you will uh, uh, get to hear oh Pra- prabhu uh, somebody has murdered my son so they have taken all my money so this all etc things you will be uh, hearing hearing it when you will do the job of a barrister so what up till what extent you will uh, hear all this like he has raped me he has do he has done this to me is this better or else whatever you are taking the shelter of shila bhakti madhav goswami maharaj and you will be doing all doing hari kirtan kirtan with all guru vaishnav and it was on the speaking then uh, okay yes uh, actually it is good then keshav prabhu speaking that we, you will uh, this barrister job will become a burden for you then teerth goswami maharaj understand that yes keshav prabhu is speaking right we have to give our life for guru vaishnav and bhagwan so actually to understand this point uh, it is very difficult uh, for a bonded jeev to understand because there is no one to understand this point Be- why they don't want to understand because that spiritual education to get the uh, to get the knowledge of that uh, spiritual education no one wants that because because whatever uh, vastu you want to get whatever object you want to get what is the utility of that object it should be there inside our heart whatever object whatever object we want to get what is the utility of that object we should know first whether it is very good it is give us enjoyment whether it will be giving us enjoyment whether it is in the material uh, 
whether it is in the material uh, it is in a material object also but still we should know the utility of that object whether mobile internet whether educational qualification whether bank account all the things whether your uh, wife all those enjoyments whether it's a material enjoyment for us still you should know the you should know the utility of that object then if you don't know the utility of that particular object then you will not run after that object why you are running for that object that's why it is uh, written in the shastra that uh, the final goal of our uh, uh, of our uh, life is to get rid of all this uh, material temporary enjoyment and to get that actual absolute enjoyment in our life so we have a lot of education this that everything we are going after this why we are going it so that we can get enjoyment and all our uh, distress and unhappiness should uh, go away that's why we are uh, running after uh, uh, after these things uh, like dog day and night so we just want that so that all the distress uh, all distress should go on and go from our life and we should get uh, material happiness temporary no on, on the permanent basis so this uh, kirtan also jay jagdish are why we are doing jay jagdish are like that so that we can get all the material enjoyments permanently that in actual we are uh, saying that it is anand for us nobody in the pondered soul they don't have the wish to get that uh, uh, spiritual education transcendental education why because they don't know the utility of that object because they are always busy in this uh, temporary anand but they don't know the actual result what they will get in the near future bhakti vinod thakur also has written in the kirtan bhakti vinod thakur already spoke spoken in the in the kirtan as well jinjal means is all garbage we have collected nothing will be collected in our heart at the end when we will leave our body with this bhavna we will uh, uh, leave the body and whatever consciousness we will develop at the end that according to that we will according to that bhava we will we will take birth in the next uh, uh, next life the gita shlok which already i have told whatever consciousness we will take in this life uh, we will uh, take uh, uh, the same birth as that in the next life sometimes in the in the heart of other some jiva maybe someone can get uh, wanted to get into the transcendental world but they don't have the uh, wish to enter that mat- Uh, transcendental world prabhupad also speaking one story that there is one shop common confectionery shop where all dal uh, salt sugar etc are uh, uh, sold that confectionery shop is there and uh, there one uh, there one uh, uh, one there is a uh, uh, one uh, Uh, the owner of the shop he has two sons one is called lalu and one is called kalu and he wanted to give uh, his uh, age is go increasing day by day so he wanted that uh, his uh, sons both lalu and kalu should get ed- this much education that they can at- actually attain like uh, how to sum up and how to minus the thing like to get to addition and subtraction at least you sh- they should know because uh, they just need to make sure that uh, how to add and how to subtract the things so that they can uh, for the welfare of the shop in near future so because of that uh, the owner of the shop he just arranged uh, they uh, just arrange one uh, school for them but uh, they don't want to do they don't want to get educated 
and they just want to waste their time with their own friends and all and what happened that uh, father is speaking every time that uh, at least uh, this this gram of uh, rice is there this gram of sugar is there how um, at least you should uh, uh, learn this much but the uh, lalu and kalu but they don't want to uh, listen to his father and they don't want to get educated so so then uh, the father uh, thinking that uh, owner is thinking that uh, i will uh, i will ask one teacher he uh, he can come to the house and can educate them so the he hired one teacher and uh, he said to the teacher that you stay in my house only and this you just uh, teach my these two sons lalu and kalu about the addition and subtraction and you will get everything for eating sleeping and everything and i will give you salary per month as well then the master speaking that okay i will uh, teach them no worries then the master uh, just sat down and uh, uh, with those two sons of that owner and they don't want to actually uh, study about that whatever uh, the vidya he want to uh, give to those sons that master he they were uh, not able to do that they just uh, ran away from that place they don't want to get educated <coughs> whatever whosoever teacher uh, were asked to teach them they said that it is not in our range that we can teach them so in that moment what happened that at the last moment the owner uh thought that at least uh, they can at least uh, understand 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 4 is 8 like that i can teach them some master can uh, only this much they can understand like what much of gram rice they have to get for the rice of sugar they have to give so like this at least they should understand this point and uh, then uh, they arrange that master who is coming to their house and living there and there is one uh, brahman who has become a master and came in the house of that owner and he is uh, actually uh, making his topmost effort to educate lalu and kalu about this but then the teacher uh, along with the two child they went to the ground he then he speaking to the that lalu what is that how much how much legs are there of that uh, cow One, two, three, four. Ha, ah, good. Four, four. There are four legs, no? Okay, okay. That's good. Then, like, uh, so slowly and steadily, he is asking. Uh, uh, he is g- giving them about the addition and subtraction. Like, ah, uh, uh, so this Ganga ji is flowing. So, how much? Uh, how much boats are there in the in in Ganga? Please tell me how many boats are there. How many fishermen are there in the boat? One, two, three, four. Then Kalu speaking to Kalu. Then Kalu speaking to Lalu. That oh, don't speak, don't speak. He actually is making uh, understand. This master actually is uh, giving you the education about the addition and subtraction. So don't uh, speak. One, two, three, four. Don't speak about that. So. master ji was thinking at least in a joking mood they just want to understand but still they don't want to get understand about this point so this is the condition what can be done so so the master actually is uh, is giving a lot of uh, understanding to them and he also want to get rid of all their uh, bad habits also but they are not actually understanding this point at all all these uh, these kids are so much uh, naughty than clever that uh, in the uh, in the childhood only they are taking tobacco and uh, when the master after taking the lunch time that master was taking sleep was taking sleeping and uh, after that uh, they just uh, went out of the uh, room and they are just taking tobacco and they are thinking what he is teaching us 1 2 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 4 8 let us go outside and just take some tobacco he is seeing that uh, the that master is sleeping 
he was thinking and master was sleeping so let's go and take some tobacco and they went outside to take tobacco and uh, when they came back the master uh, was uh, smelling it with his nose that uh, there is everywhere a uh, smell of tobacco and lalu kalu came he asked uh, to come and uh, you why is there a smell inside in the mouth in your mouth uh, he said uh, lalu kalu speaking that uh, you were also sleeping we were also sleeping i don't know why so that's why they are uh, creating all drama in their life and they do just Uh, don't want to uh, get ri- they just want to get rid of the situation and they don't want to learn about this so prabhupa speaking that all la puja pratishtha etc will come in their life they can uh, understand that they can learn that but to get the lotus feet of uh, shri krishna under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav they don't want to understand that they don't have that desire inside their heart to understand that that's why bhakti vinod thakur is speaking that whosoever in the mat matter you are uh, making all those uh, devils to devils and demons to get uh, inside the uh, mat mandir it is not at all uh, good then bhakti vinod thakur speaking at least uh, if at least at least uh, a, a person who has sharanagati inside his heart at least have some respect for guru vishnu and he is actually uh, able to follow guru vishnu's uh, instruction <coughs> at then th- those persons can be allowed in godiamat otherwise everyone should be thrown out it is written in the in the bhakti no thakur kirtan as well bhakti no thakur has written in his kirtan this is actually right what bhakti no thakur has written that uh, in order to know about the uh, limit and the actual limit of a person you can't uh, understand that at least he should have some mission inside the heart a person who has at least some mission inside that at least he wants to uh understand the instructions of guru vaishnav he is allowed in the gaudiya math and mandir otherwise other person should be thrown away that's why it is uh, asked to bhakti no thakur that uh, all the sahajiyas etc they should also be get entry inside gaudiya math what is the problem survivor of the fittest will be the criteria whosoever will stay in the math then he will stay otherwise everyone will go then bhakti no thakur speaking no but gaudiya math has one kind of standard there is a very uh, deep in depth which are inside uh, that that uh, we have to step in the gaudiya bhajan uh, with the uh, with our mind so there will be though we will get entry inside the gaudiya mart otherwise there will be garbage and garbage because bhakti no thakur has uh, spoken himself as the uh, sweeper of namahat that snamat sweeper sweeper of namat that is he will clear all the garbage whatever garbage will there in will be in the namat he will actually get rid of that because namat is the actual place of nitanand prabhu well, because namat is not a place of gorang mahaprabhu it is a place of nitanand prabhu as the gorang ke sankirtan is going on but nitanand prabhu has actually opened it it is already it is already written in the kirtan already bhakti nath thakur had written this kirtan that nodiya gudru me nitananda mahajan pati ache nam hatto jive ruka aur uska baad dikha hua hai and after that he has written ye baat ko dhyan dena chahiye you have to understand this point really well this point is very much important we have to be very careful about that because we are not doing any uh, are not careful on this point 
नित्यानंद प्रभु और हरिदास ठाकुर आर एक्चुअली आर सेंड बाय गौरंग महाप्रभु दैट इज ईच एंड एवरी डोर यू हैव टू गो देयर एंड प्रीच अबाउट हरिनाम प्रभु हु सो एवर इज देयर यू जस्ट हैव टू मेक ऑल दो फॉलन सोल्स यू यू हैव टू मेक ऑल दो फॉलन सोल्स गेट रेड ऑफ देयर मटीरियल बॉन्डेज एंड यू हैव टू प्रीच अबाउट द हरिनाम so in this way gorang mahaprabhu speaking to haridas and then that you should go there and preach about shri nam prabhu kuch nahi hai usko la ke khane peene ke liye aur nothing is there you just uh, making one person entering the mat and uh, to just uh, make them enter the mat he is just eating and sleeping and uh, doing all rubbish like robbery and thief etc so that's why bhakti mr thakur speaking in this way that वॉट एवर स्पिरिचुअल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू आर फाउंडिंग और यू आर यू आर मैनेजिंग इन ऑर्डर टू रन दैट स्पिरिचुअल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन भक्ति में ठाकुर स्पीकिंग मैन पावर इज रिक्वायर्ड बट इट डजेंट मीन दैट ऑल द गार्बेज एंड एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम हेयर एंड देयर यू विल जस्ट कलेक्ट एंड विदाउट एनी without any standard without anything you are just making it run because uh, there will be all uh, full of kapat uh, kapat persons in sabhi so all those persons who are equivalent to garbage that spiritual organization what you are making there will be no actual transcendental uh, uh, transcendental uh, uh, transcendental nature will not be found and uh, all these uh, persons who are kapat uh, who are uh, like demons who are full of distress and uh, all the outside persons will just be Uh, spitting on the on our spiritual organization what we have formed and the um, all the respect of our spiritual organization will get into dust like a dust particle that's why bhakti mr thakur speaking because bhakti mr thakur cannot speak wrong so in this way bhakti mr thakur teaching us like kaur kishor das baba ji maharaj also spoken to to bimla prasad saraswati to prabhupad ji that amar prabhu o prabhu you don't go to kali brahmand you don't go to kali to the place of kali and you don't make disciples don't give don't don't give diksha to anyone don't go to kali don't and don't do association of this material persons so gaur kishor das baba ji maharaj has given the most important instructions to our प्रभुपाद दीज थ्री इंस्ट्रक्शन गौर किशोर दास बाबा जी हैज गिवन डोंट गो टू कली ब्रह्मांड डोंट गो टू द प्लेस ऑफ कली डोंट डू एसोसिएशन ऑफ दिस मटीरियल बॉन्डेड पर्सन एंड डोंट गिव दीक्षा टू एनी वन डोंट बी गेम डोंट मेक डिसाइपल्स but externally but externally we can see that prabhupad has uh, prabhupad has done everything opposite that prabhupad has made a lot of disciples prabhupad speaking that i have made no disciple i have made all gurus they are all my gurus uh, paramhans guru don't make any disciple he always make guru and prabhupad speaking i am not going in the place of kali i am going to calcutta in the aprakrit prangan vaikunth prangan of angan of uh, shri gauriamat i am going there because gauriamat is not a place of kali it is aprakrit vaikunth prangan akunth vaikunth place is uh, gauriamat is vaikunth so it is not a place of kali so th- there i am going i am not going to calcutta i am going there just to get the association of those pure devotees and i am not doing any association of a material person you just 
it's i swear i don't do any association of a material person why because my guru parpadma guru parma shrestha shila kaur ke shobhas bhagwan maharaj is a top post paramhans my guru maharaj is so top most that the association given to given by him to me is so top most that i don't i don't feel to take i don't wish to uh, do any association with any material person any bond person i don't have any wish i don't have the desire to do any association with a material person such a big paramhans vaishnav Uh, my guru maharaj is whatever association he has given me i don't wish to do association of any other material person so that is the actual vichar of prabhupad someone has spoken that bhakti mr thakur has already written that then don't make any math mandir etc but Prabhupad has already made 64 Gaudiya Math, like the 64 Bhakti Ang. So it means that Prabhupad has done something wrong by making 64 Math. The Prabh Bhakti Nath Thakur has spoken this that don't make any temples and all. Well, so Bhakti Nath Thakur has written it wrong. don't make any temples don't make any godimats why because all those bonded souls if they will uh, go and desire to make uh, these temples and godimat then uh, whatever uh, remaining bhajan they have inside there that will also get destroyed because they are in their bonded condition they will all go here and there they will just uh, take their uh, lower feet and to a mof of a material person and just be asking about uh, uh, money just for uh, that welfare of the mat i have uh, gone to some maharaj he is actually has left body that maharaj uh, loves me a lot and uh, he is of some spiritual organization some body mat i just used to speak uh, hari katha in that mat by the and uh, that maharaj is speaking to me that uh, you come with me for the collection somewhere then i went with the maharaj ji with some to some place for collection and uh, i i was speaking that where uh, you have taken me in some house i don't take any water and uh, prasadam in any one house <laughs> you just uh, speak them that uh, uh, you you have already taken uh, water and uh, already taken prasadam so i will not take uh, you just don't speak anything i will uh, figure out everything then uh, maharaj ji i was sitting there in the house i was sitting there revati babu ka that uh, he is a son of revati babu and this is the wife of revati babu uh, who has made this uh, constructed this whole mat i don't want to speak the name where is that mat where it is located i just want to make you understand that i was just uh, making something uh, for the, regarding the mat Uh, they have given us for uh, eating but i said that uh, i already have taken prasadam and all all the water you take some cold drink no 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 you i am actually no don't take cold drink and all i am actually not feeling well then i spoken to speaking to maharaj ji if uh, uh, maharaj ji you will go to house by house that you will do like this that how you will do bhajan then maharaj speaking the speaking that uh, if you will not do like this then uh, to do bhandara is not possible then maharaj speaking that uh, we have to do this because we have to do collection and we can't do bhandara in the near future and now it is actually the wish of krishna i always have uh, hari katha bhandara in my life i don't have uh, that prasadam uh, uh, bhandara in my life because i don't have anything i can only distribute uh, hari katha bhandara only so this is the situation <coughs> see this is a situation uh, all the bonded soul if they will 
uh, go for uh, this material association definitely if they will make uh, mat and mandirs but uh, for uh, exalted paramahans vaishnav it will not become a bondage rather than it will be a sadhya tattva that's why krishna speaking to uddhav ji maharaj regarding this that uh, you make my uh, temples big big temple you have to make where all uh, the will do hari katha where naam sankirtan and all prasadam will get distributed you just make big big temple of mine whereas bhakti unno thakur have written this so we have to harmonize these two points what bhakti unno thakur told and what krishna uh, krishna told to uddhav because if we not harmonize that then uh, then and, and then we will go to hell because we will not understand the actual reason so the thing is that in uh, that after every uh, instruction uh, given by guru vishnu <coughs> there is something uh, there in the hidden form so we have to understand that like in the upadesha amrit that uh, it is actually the up- amrit of upadesh what the instructions nectarian instructions given by shila gos rupa goswami bar and if we will not take this nectarian instruction then we will be taking poison of this material world whatever the poison available in in this material world we will take that the sagar manthan you know the manthan of this uh, material world we are doing uh, the manthan of uh, this ocean of material world that like uh, in the previous in bhagavatam it is written that uh, the ocean of uh, uh, khir sagar uh, all the things have uh, came out of that in this material world but but the in depth uh, analysis of the instructions of uh, the ocean um, manthan of the ocean of material world means what is the philosophy regarding this it means that that uh, the asur and the demigods uh, in combination they have just done the manthan and have given all the main main uh, resources inside the ocean <coughs> khir sagar manthan and whatever amrit amrit has also discovered from that but at the same time poison is also discovered from the same manthan kalkut poison has also been uh, discovered from there and uh, uh, lord shiva has taken it in his hand and uh, taken it in, into his uh, cunt in his mouth and uh, some of the kalkut uh, poison just uh, drop by drop uh, eight two to three drops uh, just went on to fall on the ground and because of that uh, uh, poisonous drops we are getting all the poisonous snakes uh, poisonous scorpions and all those poisonous uh, reptiles and animals we are getting just because of that uh, hala hal uh, poison 3 to 8 uh, to 10 drops which were fall on the earth it is because of that only after that uh, by the manthan of the asuras and the demigods lot of things were uh, discovered uh, in that uh, shri sagar manthan like uh, we after that we get uh, that elephant airavat airavat elephant we got from that manthan then we got the horse uchchaswara horse we got and, uh, and in the end we got the we got that amrit in the hand of lakshmi we got lakshmi from sagar manthan so in the uh, so the philosophy regarding this uh, the philosophy inside the heart of a materially bonded soul it will not get uh, stick inside his heart because uh, he can understand the things uh, in his own pers- perspective but there is a very in depth uh, analysis about these instructions uh, sagar manthan actually means what 
वी डोंट हैव टू कट दिस पॉइंट बट सागर मंथन एक्चुअली मीन्स द एक्सटेंसिव मीनिंग ऑफ दैट वॉट इज दैट दैट इन दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड वॉट एवर द मंथन इज गोइंग ऑन ऑन इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड लाइक ज्वेल्स गोल्ड सिल्वर कॉपर वॉट एवर इज गोइंग बाय द मशीनरी दे आर टेकिंग इट आउट फ्रॉम द अर्थ एंड फॉर फूड 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 एज वेल वी आर हैविंग अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट इन द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड वॉट एवर दे आर टेकिंग वॉट दे हैव टू ईट वॉट दे डोंट हैव टू ईट दैट सम ऑफ द पर्सन हैव डिस्कवर्ड दिस वॉट टू इट वॉट नॉट टू एंड दे हैव जस्ट डाइड ऑल्सो जस्ट बाई डिस्कवरिंग ऑल दिस दैट इन कलयुग दिस इज जस्ट द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द कलयुग एंड some uh, many persons have uh, just died just by discovering what to eat and what not to eat in this modern world and they have just taken a wrong thing inside their mouth and they just they just died and a lot of research is going on uh, in this uh, in this material world and all this karma kand is also going on and actually all the karma yog manthan एट्सेट्रा इट्स गोइंग ऑन एंड दे आर दे आर थिंकिंग दैट इट इज ऑल अमृत एंड लाइक अ मटीरियल इन्जॉयमेंट दे आर इन्जॉइंग एवरी थिंग बट दे डोंट नो इट इज जस्ट देर इज दिस इज जस्ट टेम्पररी दिस इज नॉट ऑन द परमानेंट बेसिस दैट्स वाई ऑल द पर्सन दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेक द एक्चुअल अमृत एक्चुअल सो वॉट एवर इज गोइंग ऑन इन दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड this is like a sagar manthan like sometimes uh, uh, some go- uh, good is uh, going to discovered and sometimes something bad is going to get discovered i'll give you one example there is one company uh, they are uh, actually researching there is a research department in that company as well and uh, in the factory of that company ek factory mein in that factory as well there is a lot of big factories available so there are r&d research and development wing is there in every factory har company mein in every company a lot of laborers are persons are there a lot of money is there and they are actually doing the manthan uh, in that factory uh, for the welfare of the society so they also used to sell that in the market as well and the persons are also taking advantage of that uh, product but the waste product of that factory the waste product of the factory some medicine they are discovering or some food stuff or whatever they are discovering but the waste product of that factory actually it is going it is going to nature which is very much dangerous for our nature like lot of companies are there who are uh, dumping their waste products in ganga in yamuna they are just dumping it there uh, where uh, they are just uh, dumping it in the big big oceans in the lakes as well <coughs> but that is not at all good it is very bad because of that lot of aquatic animals and uh, uh, water related reptiles and animals they are just getting life is getting threatened and they are getting killed like we have already learned in chemistry that that uh, uh, madam curie uh, madam Cur- madam curie is there of, of england they have discovered <coughs> they have discovered one radioactive element they have done a lot of uh, they have done a lot of research on that they are very much uh, poor they don't have the money desired money to do the research but they are doing research under some uh, under some uh, company the some company was there and uh, after they have made the product uh, they have just uh, thrown that waste product uh, outside and and the waste product uh, they have thrown is called peach blend uh, whosoever has uh, uh, heard like who have already studied chemistry they know about peach blend. then what happened that uh, the madam curie they uh who the both uh, husband and wife they have taken a lot of uh,
they have taken a lot of distress and just uh, went to the company's uh, waste product area and just taking that uh, waste product like peach blend from there and uh, taking all the uh, fire logs there just to make it uh, make it uh, uh, make it burn in the fire because there are ton ton of peach blend in there uh, and after uh, burning ton of peach blend they they are getting just one drop of uranium after months after months they are just uh, uh, firing uh, the lot tons of peach blend burning tons of peach blend and just uh, collect a, a pinch of uranium from there and after uh, chemical reaction they used to purify that and uh, that uh, uh, radioactive element they uh they have uh, just uh, put it put that uh, uranium on the black film uh they have put it on that black film uh they have uh, uh, uh they have just uh, put it in the drawer and uh, they just went to sleep and when they <coughs> after that when they just started their research in the morning they said uh, they after opening that uh, raw film that black film it is just uh, what uh, there is a there is a marking of light on that where they have put the uranium but that black film when uh, it was uh, being discovered before it was black but now it has some lining on that how it is possible they were very much surprised to see that next day again they have uh, taken a new black film and again they have uh, done the similar process whatever what they have done uh, the previous night then after that next day they said that there is again a uh, some little marking <laughs> then then they have got one realization inside their heart that how it is possible then that uranium product what we have uh, uh, put it in that uh, film some rays must be emitting from that because of that because of uh, some reaction that uh, film that black film is getting some uh, get converted into the linings then they rediscovered uh, rediscovered by some research that uh, from one uranium alpha beta and gamma rays are just uh, emitting from there i just want i just want don't want to uh, i just don't want to speak about that i just want to speak uh, in gist that uh, about this sagar manthan and the 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 gyan manthan the energy manthan and uh, uh, the the manthan of the will power the final result is the there is a lining of uh, in the photo film and because of the radioactive element we just got uh, from there the discovery of x ray as well <coughs> so lot of uh, discovery they have done they have just grinded it each and every second so they have got this so similarly the talking we are doing about sagar manthan also is similar to that way hamara bhakti mein thakur ji aur bhakti mein thakur always used to speak they used to speak this point that at least some shraddha must be there at least uh, who who has shraddha inside his heart and who doesn't have shraddha in his heart he just came to the math uh, like uh, one shishya of madhav goswami maharaj when there was the mother maharaj in sain math uh, there is one shishya of uh, madhav goswami maharaj he used to love him very much in uh, krishna gar math i will not speak the name i will not speak the name that person used to come in the math and he has some uh, work there and he used to take some of the tools from there and uh, one acharya went to his house and they have they have their work that they will just speak uh, like very sweet words and uh, he is speaking to the uh, to that person that uh, what you will do uh, you come to vrindavan math and you stay there and uh, do your work and uh, just by speaking uh, very sweet words to him he said that you just uh, stop working uh, here and you just come to vrindavan math to us he left all his uh, mother and his uh, 
wife everyone he left maximum their age will be 50 or 55 years old so he left them and then he came to the mat and uh, her wife is not that much of the age she is also very young but when i met him then he he is become just like a beast you don't feel bad about this i am just speaking the absolute truth i am not speaking i am not speaking lie i have uh, i have uh, met him before also he was having lot of love for me when i went to vrindavan in the krishna nagar mat and he also used to come there and there is lot of discussion between us but when i uh, came to met him today he is become like a beast he has just uh, become more down like a beast because he is just eating in the mud and sleeping and just that's it so to stay like this in the mud this is of no use so with the lot of false ego inside his heart he was asking me with a lot of uh, false ego inside his heart he is asking oh where are you are where are you maharaj where are you living nowadays he is asking me like this so i i don't uh, so he was giving me updesh that uh, like this it is not possible to do bhaja so to give updesh like this this is not uh, the case this should not be done i i just want to make sure uh, i just want to make i i want to be thankful to them who has just taken him inside the inside the mud they are so foolish number 1 that they have taken him in the mud and they have big uh, and they have uh, converted him into a beast kutta billi banane ke liye shishya banao don't make any disciple just to make dogs and cats bhakti bhav thakur speaking so our body of guru guru always our prabhupad they have their desire that the all the bonded soul have to be given the right step right pathway of the of the bhakti mark like uh, prabhupad who is a uh, swayam parshad of uh, bhagwan uh, he he has given always given diksha to the disciples and what happened at last they just uh, go against prabhupad they just go against kodiya mathan prabhupad so that's why prabhupad uh, hasn't uh, stopped preaching about this but uh, but with a very very clever and smart mood prabhupad used to give uh, uh, sanyas and diksha to so very some person with uh, a lot of uh, thinking in his mind that who whom to give diksha and whom to not so it's all about the destiny what it's written in everyone's head so so our uh, shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu the actual instructions of uh, gorang mahaprabhu gor ragunath das goswami madhav goswami sanatan goswami pad rup goswami pad have actually uh, desired to uh, uh, give the actual instructions of gorang mahaprabhu and they have given everything uh, in the form of the shastras their instructions were already embedded in that and the rup goswami vera samrit sindhu is the etc all the shastras and the <coughs> summary of uh, rasamrit sindhu is updesh amrit like the uh, bhagavat amrit is a summary of the bhagavat amrit shri ma or the summary of shrimad bhagavat mahapuran like shrimad bhagavat ji mahapuran is rasamalayam is a uh, rasamalayam so this is just a uh, Uh, just a summary given uh, given or uh, the rasa or uh, to uttara devi uh, from parikshit maharaj similarly the upadesh amrit is also a summary of uh, bhakti rasa amrit sindhu and not to understand the shiksha of this uh, upadesh amrit it is not possible to stay in gorya mat i have al- already started one shlok uh, if you can remember that in bhagavad ji mahapuran also in the 11th canto it is written uddhav ji maharaj uh, was instructed by shri krishna
What does it mean actually? It it means that all the karma in the karma mark, in the tapasya mark, in the gyan mark, in the vairagya mark, in the yog mark and the pathway of dharma, pathway of dharma, adharma, so much sadhans are available. Uh, by all those sadhans we can obtain, we, what we can obtain. Our bhajan jivan, our bhajan jivan's manthan. If we cannot get Krishna Prem after that, then nothing can be done. What that uh, we are just um, doing the manthan of this ocean of uh, Krishna Bhajan, we should get Krishna Prema. So, whatever uh, pathway we are choosing, there are lots of pathway uh, except uh, bhakti. So, all these pathways, if you are following, so what you want to get in life? Like following Vairagya, following Karma, following Gyan, following, uh, following Vairagya, uh, following Gyan. Try to settle down yourself that what you want to do in life by achieving from all this. Yeah. Like you want to get moksha, you want to you want to get swarga, you want to get mukti, you want to get bhukti. So all these marks are shreya sadhan marks. What you want to achieve at last, you will get everything by following the bhakti yoga, by following the pathway of bhakti yoga. Different different uh, dif- by following different different sadhanas, you want to do aparad. Or else you are in the way of doing aparad. Everything you will get by following the by by doing uh, by f- by following the pathway of bhakti yoga, and my ananya bhakt can get it by following the bhakti yoga. We don't have to. We, they don't have to face any difficulties regarding this. They don't have to follow any difficulty regarding this. By following the pathway of bhakti, if if they have this uh, if they have this desire to see the swarga or they want to see mukti, they want to get mukti. So d- definitely they will get it very easily. Very easy it is uh, It is available It is easy to get So in this pathway of Bhakti This Upadesh Amrit is the Topmost uh, Sampati Topmost uh, uh, Sampati In the Shri Chaitanya Chaitanya Amrit also It is written Shri Man Mahaprabhu, all the instructions given by Shri Man Mahaprabhu in Shri Chaitanya Jitamri Chaitanya Bhagavad, whatever it is written there. If we uh, do the manthan, uh, we just get the nectar of instructions of Shri Gaurang Mahaprabhu. And what we get from the instructions of Shri Gaurang Mahaprabhu? We have to go forward by taking the instructions of Gaurang Mahaprabhu so that Mahaprabhu has written this Siksha Ashtakam set of how to do Krishna Bhajan. All this is discussed by Shri Gaurang Mahaprabhu in his instructions. Shri Upadesh Amrit also has uh, 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 centered itself that how Krishna Bhakti can be uh, can be done and uh, how we can protect our Krishna Bhakti, what is the Vidhi, what is the Nished, all these things are uh, centered in Shri Upadesh Amrit. And how to follow the Bhajan Mark, it is written in uh, Shri Shikshastukam of Gorang Mahaprabhu. Our spiritual life, Prabhupada was speaking that our spiritual life, to get, our, to get it itself established in our spiritual life, <coughs> Our 
our spiritual life to get established in that. We have to we, we have to we have to get our material mind and all the sense organ involved in this if we want to get successful in our spiritual life. We have to engage our material mind and our material sense organs in Krishna Bhajan so that our spiritual life can become more stronger. In order to do bhajan, the most important thing is that that our uh, disturbed mind, material mind and all our uh, material sense organ should be controlled and they should be uh, get established in Krishna bhajan. Like Paralad Maharaj uh, crying and speaking. All these shlokas, pra, uh, all, all Prahlad Maharaj actually crying in front of Nirsingha. That, oh Prabhu, my all sense organ and my material mind is running here and there. And uh, and I am just, be, I have just become mad. How to do your bhajan, actual bhari bhajan. So, in order to increase your spiritual life, we have to get uh, control over our material sense organs and material mind. It is very, very important. If it is not, then we will not get uh, maturity in our bhajan life. It is next to impossible to get that. So that's why Shri Upadesh Amrit uh, is, uh, given, uh, is given by Srila Rupa Goswami Path so that we can get established in Krishna bhajan, so that we can become a Jitendriya Goswami, so that we can get control over our sense organs. Uh, who is actual Goswami? Whom to, uh, whom to say actual Goswami, who can control his material mind, who can control his mind and sense organs. Like a, like a dog who always used to hear the uh, voice of his master. Like that Goswami also, uh, the title of Goswami is given to that person only who has, the, the Goswami are those who can, who can uh, teach the whole world and who can uh, get control over his sense organs and his material mind. So I will just, uh, within two to three days, I will start the uh, Upadesh, Amra, Upadesh Amrit. First shlok is there. Uh, so that uh, what is the actual adhikar of a Goswami and what is the, what is his, uh, uh, and uh, what are its, uh, um, what you say, uh, what are his uh, few rare points which a Goswami has and a normal person don't have? The persons who are taking the shelter of a Goswami under the Bhakti Sadhana, they can always understand this one point that that they will definitely get success in their spiritual life if they take the shelter of uh, a Goswami. This is inevitable, inevitable success. Srila Rupa Goswami Path This Subdesh Amri of Srila Rupa Goswami Path It is written Under the guidance of the Upadesha Amrit written by Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. The Upadisht of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad. This Upadesha Amrit, under the guidance of this Upadesha Amrit, uh, we will, uh, we will uh, follow the instructions of uh, Korang Mahaprabhu, which is called Siksha Ashtak. Then we only can discover the actual Siksha Ashtakam instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu. We can just realize the instructions of Gorang Mahaprabhu in actual. Before that, it is not possible. So, in this, uh, under the guidance of Srila Rupa Goswami, and to follow, to follow the, uh, to just 
to just throw the Upadesh Amrit of Rupa Goswami and just going on uh, getting uh, the we want to become a gopi by just reading Ujwal Neel Mani and um, Rasa Leela then this is a big danger for him very big danger because this is not the actual uh, pathway to follow that we can go ahead in our Gaudiya Bhajan in Rupanuga Bhajan so Srila Rupa Goswami Bad we have to uh, under the guidance of Srila Rupa Goswami Bad we have to follow the uh, Siksha of Rupa Goswami Bad not that we have to kick the Siksha given by Srila Rupa Goswami Bad if we will do that then we will not get anything in our life we will get hell that's it if we will just kick the Upadesh given by Srila Rupa Goswami Bad this is the actual Upadesh uh, shown by Srila Prabhupada. So we will discuss it tomorrow. Everything, everything is like garbage. Everything is like hell if we don't follow Srila Rupa Goswami Path. So under the guidance of Srila Rupa Goswami Path Upadesh Amrit, if we, we will discuss Shiksha Ashtakam of Gorang Mahaprabhu, then we will get the nectarian instructions, the summary of that of Gorang Mahaprabhu, and we can realize those instructions inside our heart. When we will get to understand the Upadesh of Srila Rupa Goswami Path. Of this, there is no doubt about this. There is no uh, doubt about that. Srila Rupa Goswami Path, in his Upadesh Amrit, in his first shlok, he is uh, talking about the Shadavik or about the six wake, six kinds of uh, faults. Six repus are there inside our heart. What are they? This is the one Kirtan given by Bhakti Vinod Thakur in which there is written about the Shadvek, six, uh, six Vek which are there inside our heart, inside our, our heart. I have done a lot of uh, chest, I have a lot of uh, uh, things. Srila Rupa Swami Pad has just uh, because according to our Rasa Shastra in our Gaudiya Bhajan according to the Rasa Shastra the Acharya of that Rasa Shastra, Rasa Shastra is Srila Rupa Goswami Pad so the Rupa Goswami Pad has given the pathway and whosoever want to follow a different path apart from that then he is not a guru then that those siksha which are uh, the new pathway which he has made that will become like a hell for him and for others as well he will not be able to do raganuga bhajan because he don't know about raganuga bhajan at all he will not he can't do anything so under the guidance of shri la rupa goswami pas the first log it is written how to get uh, control over uh, all the shad uh, vague kaam krod lobo mad matsarya these are the six vega which we have to get control over. In the in the second slok, it is written what is uh, beneficial for a Krishna Bhakti and what is uh, not beneficial for Krishna Bhakti. Uh, it is just uh, what are favorable for our Bhakti. We have to get those things. In the fourth number slok, uh, what are uh, actually supporting to our Krishna Bhakti that we have to accept and uh, and uh, how to uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written all the Kirtan regarding this Bhakti Vinod Thakur has written all the Kirtan regarding this but we don't want to hear all this we don't have that patience inside us uh, we have to what is favorable for bhakti and in the fourth slok and what are the supporting of krishna bhakta food which will give portion to bhakti like to take sixth kind of satsang we take fifth slok 
वॉट इज आवर एक्चुअल ड्यूटी रिगार्डिंग वैष्णव सिक्स सिक्स श्लोका वी डोंट हैव टू सी वैष्णव बाय आर प्राकृत दृष्टि बाय दिस मटीरियलाइज वी कान टेक बाय वॉट गुरु वैष्णव आर डूइंग दे आर हेयरिंग ईटिंग स्लीपिंग जस्ट बाय टेकिंग दे आर दोषा इज नॉट अ गुड थिंग बाय आवर प्राकृत दृष्टि बाय आर मटीरियल सेंस इज ऑल मैं मटीरियल सेंस इट इज इट इज बिकॉज गुरु वैष्णव आर ऑलवेज ऑन अ ट्रांसकेंटल लेवल एंड एक्सटर्नली दे यू विल फाइंड दैट दे विल हैव सम काइंड ऑफ दोष बट टू टू एक्चुअली टारगेट गुरु वैष्णव दैट दे आर देयर एक्टिविटीज आर एक्सटर्नली दे कैन बी सम फॉल्ट बट दे आर नॉट एट फॉल्ट बिकॉज दे आर ऑन ट्रांसकेंटल लेवल सो डोंट नीड टू फाइंड एनी दोष इन द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ अ प्राकृत गुरु वैष्णव हु आर एट ट्रांसकेंटल लेवल एंड वील टॉक अबाउट द सेवन श्लोक नाउ एंड टू टेक द वॉट इज द प्रोसीडियर हाउ टू डू हरी नाम हाउ टू डू हरी नाम एंड इन द एट श्लोक इट इज रिटर्न हाउ टू गेट एस्टेब्लिश्ड बाय इन द राग मार्ग हाउ वी विल गेट एस्टेब्लिश बाय डूइंग हरी नाम एंड द भक्ति अंग इन एंड इन द नाइन्थ श्लोक इट इज रिटर्न and how to do what is the act, actual importance of raganuga bhajan and 10th shlok and who is actually a bhajananandi and 11th shlok there is the importance of the radha kund all these information are given in this upadesha amrit so these are all the informations given by shila rupa swami in his upadesha amrit and now the question is first shlok it is written that we have to control our sense organs by all this six shad veg we have already discussed uh, in previous week also that in shrimad bhagavati mahapurana it is written that whether you go in any mark in gyan yoga in dharma in karma yoga in any mark you dhyan mark rag any mark if you take the first step is to get control over your material mind and material sense organs this is the preliminary preliminary upadesh that we have to get control over our material sense organs and material mind and how to uh, just uh, attach it towards uh, krishna bhajan directed towards krishna bhajan in the sajjan doshini also it is written by uh, already uh, uh, already written by bhakti mayur thakur by the kripa of bhakti mayur thakur it is possible that we can get this nectarian instructions in sajjan doshini already it is being uh, written there and we will find uh, that shila bhakti mayur thakur ji also bhakti ka sadha also has written about uh, what are the qualities and characteristics of uh, uh, of uh, bhajananand di vaishnav bhakti mayur thakur ji and the characteristics different characteristics with different articles he has written it is also important to it is also important to discuss all this because if we will not discuss that then it is not possible to get establish ourselves in uh, the upadesh amrit given by shila rupa swami pad is bare mein charcha hona chahiye so instruct uh, this should be discussed it is very important in uh, in a summary bhakti mayur thakur uh, i will just discuss it later abhi now hamara guru varg under the guidance of our guru varg uh, keshav go swami maharaj at sector Uh, has uh, uh, wanted to just uh, make sure wanted to make sure that this upadesh amrit should get uh, uh, given to each and every bonded soul so that uh, each and every bonded soul can get uh, established in upadesh amrit shila bhakti san saraswati go swami thakur pad ek upadesh amrit jo gopal 
ऑन दिस उपदेश अमृत ही हैज रिटन हिज कमेंट्री एंड भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर ऑल्सो हैज गिवन हिज कमेंट्री ऑन उपदेश ऑन श्री उपदेश अमृत रिटर्न बाय शिल रूप गोस्वामी पात एंड एंड प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो वेरी डेज बैक लॉट ऑफ डेज बैक आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट शिला भक्ति मनोज ठाकुर हैज गिवन अट कमेंट्री ऑन दिस शिला उपदेश अमृत एट राधा रमन घेरा अरे एट श्री राधा राधा रमन घेरा राधा रमन गोस्वामी हैज गॉट वन हैंड राइटिंग ऑफ श्री राधा रमन गोस्वामी ऑन श्री उपदेश अमृत एंड भक्ति मनोज ठाकुर हैज गिवन अ कमेंट्री ऑन दैट बाई फॉलोइंग दैट राइटिंग ऑफ श्री राधा रमन गोस्वामी अनुवृत्ति हैज रिटर्न बाय शीला भक्ति सीजन सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर बाबा इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू डिस्कस ऑल दिस रिगार्डिंग उपदेश अमृत सोआवर शीला भक्ति को स्वामी को स्वामी ठाकुर ठाकुर प्रभुपा हैज गिवन द समरी ऑफ श्री उपदेश अमृत एंड ऑल दिस अनुवृत्ति एंड हैज गिवन ऑल दिस उपदेश एट द एंड ऑफ द ग्रंथ ऑल दिस भाष्यस he has given so that we can understand it in more in depth about the updesh amrit shila gos rup ko swami pad under the guidance of the vyakhya given by shila bhakti mon thakur shila prabhupad at the on the on the auspicious tithi of shri radha ashtami shila prabhupad has finished his commentary on shri updesh amrit शिला प्रभुपाद इन थर्टीन थर्टी नाइन बंगाब्द मीन्स इन कार्तिक व्रत आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इन दिस इन हरिकथा दैट वाइल डूइंग द ब्रजमंडल परिक्रमा इन कार्तिक व्रत इन कार्तिक व्रत एट एट द बैंक ऑफ राधा कुंड Shri Obadesh Amrit he was instructing for 30 days in different different uh, commentaries on uh, each each is the instruction like Amrit at the banks of Radha Kund by which Prabhupad ji has established a different uh, Rupa Nugatya and Radha Nugatya by these uh, nectarian instructions of Shri Larup Goswami Pad uh, through Obadesh Amrit and uh, what all instructions uh, discussed by shila prabhupad ji it is uh, it is uh, actually uh, actually like to be heard otherwise without hearing this it will be like a dead body without uh, just like a moving dead body shila prabhupad always used to speak those uh, I have already spoke this point. Shila Prabhupada always used to speak. Those who are not going in Krishna Bhajan and Krishna Seva, those who don't have any connection with the Krishna Bhajan. to take that uh, vishay inside our heart this is the this is the where kind of a chronic disease inside the heart of a bonded soul we will definitely discuss this point tomorrow and today as well to get established in ether ether vastu then who that soul who, who that jiva didn't get any krishna prema who has not got the kripa of guru vaishnav he is getting he will not get uh, detachment from this material world at all 100% he cannot get uh, detached from this material world only krishna prema and krishna bhakti by taking the kripa of guru vaishnav because rasadikar is not in the hands of any any everyone those who are in the material rasa always want uh, enjoyment material enjoyment la pujan pratishtha etc they they 
they can't get uh, raganuga rupanuga instructions inside their heart so how they can give instructions to others as well it's not possible in bhakti vinod bani bhaban also it is written those in the that uh, person who is speaking that you come to me and i will give you i will give you instruction about ras tatva i'll teach you how to do raganuga bhajan rupanuga bhajan it is not possible at bhakti vinod thakur speaking he is the fraud number 1 You can't teach anyone Rupa Nuk Raga Nuk Bhajan at all. In actual, it is not a point. It is not a subject of preaching. Like uh, we are just uh, uh, reading economics, chemistry, and mathematics. Bhakti Mohan Thakur speaking this. It is not the subject of preaching. It is just an automatic factor. If someone is speaking that you can come to me, I'll give you Rupa Nuk Raga Nuk Bhajan uh, Siksha. That he is number one fraud. Number one fraud he is. Wicked person. Why? Because Rupa Nuk Bhajan Raga Nuk Bhajan is not a subject of uh, instructions. It is not a matter of uh, preaching, and it's not the matter of teaching as well. But uh, the transcendental uh, rasa. of that transcendental world if we are getting that attraction for that then by the anugatya of rupanu rupanu guru varg and bhakti mo thakur and shila prabhupad by their help we when we can get uh, their help and can attain uh, transcendental rasa it's not that by just hearing the shastra i am getting attracted towards this just hearing ras leela just uh, hear ujwal neelmali and automatically all your nerves will go this is a, this is actually a fraud this is not the case this is not the correct pathway bhakti vinod thakur and prabhupad the transcendental rush we will get definitely attraction towards that it's not possible automatically you have to get the anugatya of rupanu guru varg and bhakti vinod thakur and prabhupad under their guidance only we will get spontaneous attraction from our heart from inside our heart we will get spontaneous attraction definitely so forward definitely under the guidance of uh, guru varg and uh, the uh, goswami granth we will definitely uh, spontaneously get attracted to towards this raganu bhajan so shila prabhupad shila bhakti shila sati go swami thakur bab under the under the vyakha of shila bhakti vinod thakur uh, on the auspicious tithi of shri radha ashtami in mayapur braj patan this upadeshamrit he uh, has written the commentary on shri upadeshamrit the anuvritti of shri upadeshamrit shila prabhupad has uh, 1339 bangabd and in the month of kartik at the bank of radha kund he has discussed shri upadesh amrit the actual and a very uh, spontaneous uh, instructions of shri upadesh amrit at the bank of radha kund for in the month of kartik it means that he has actually uh, got the anugatya of shila rup ko so others have just uh, have uh, others have not followed the instructions of the shri of shri rup ka swami pas upadesh amrit and they will definitely go to hell of this there is no doubt about it there is no other pathway there is no other way so it is a point of uh, great unhappiness and distress that that uh, the instructions give given by shila bhakti not bani bhava so the updesh amrit written by shila prabhupa they have all thrown it away and they just want to make sure that they want to they are just becoming a prakrit sahajya just by maintaining their own instruction of shri updesh amrit and they just want to exhibit uh, that they are just following the instructions of shri rup goswami pad it is just rubbish whatever it in bhakti vinod vani me of the updesh amrit of shila prabhupad anuvritti commentary given by shila prabhupad 
they don't want to uh, read all this and they just want they are just they just want to just uh, get uh, jump into fire that's it shila prabhupad always used to speak to those kind of prakrit sahajiyas who are following these kind of instructions that if you see it is a point of very unhappiness and distress that all these prakrit sahajiyas all these material sahajiyas they always wanted they don't want the anugatya of shila rup go swami pad it's a very very f- far distant point they don't even want the anugatya it's a very far distant point of thing that they will get uh, the association of the upadesh amrit of shila rup go swami pad but this prakrit sahajiya so they actually wanted they just want to do aparad onto the lotus feet of shila ji go swami pad shila rup go swami shila natan sanatan go swami pad just want to get the aparad they are just reversing the instructions of shila rup go swami pad and they said that uh, uh, shila ji go swami is not under anugatya of shila rup go swami pad sanatan go swami pad they just want to see speak this they are just rubbish number 1 they are just, just doing aparad onto the lotus feet of uh, the shad go swamis and they are just speaking all rubbish all reverse what is uh, just reverse of the actual bhajan and they have just uh, published uh, new commentaries their own new pathways they have described in that which is a big aparad onto the lotus feet of shila sanatan go swami shila rup go swami anjeev go swami pad the it i have already discussed this shlok that uh, the transcendental spiritual uh, pathway is uh, not equivalent to the material pathway it is written in shri chaitanya charitamrita as well that mahaprabhu always told that that on this siddhant vichar on the basis of this siddhant vichar those who don't understand that what is actual rupanugatya they will definitely go to hell they are just making sure that they are going on their own pathway and they will be establishing their own swakya and kalpanik pathway by following their own pathway of adarshan acharan not given by our guru varg they will definitely go to hell for infinity period they don't want they don't want to even touch the nectarian st- instructions of uh, bhakti rasamrit sin because they always wanted to show the world about a reverse pathway what is uh, different from what the goswami pads have told us so what they are telling is uh, just uh, reverse so those who are speaking and those who are hearing also definitely they will go for infinity period to hell of this there is no doubt there is no other pathway open for them they have to go to hell for infinity period of this there is no doubt about it so what is the characteristic of a prakrit sahajiya and and those who don't want those who don't have belief in uh, a guru varga those who don't have belief in uh, guru vaishnav and who don't have any uh, faith in their uh, guru parampara they are all more or less mayavadi only i have already told about this earlier as well those gaur bhakta rupan those who have taken the shelter of rupanu ko bhajan those gaur bhakt those who have taken the shelter of uh, gaur rupanu ka ashray those who are 
they are not going for uh, material lab puja pratishtha and they do are not following uh, that pathway and they are just uh, <coughs> following their own pathway new pathway which is just different from from what the pathway given by shila rup goswami pad and uh, just by giving their own uh, uh, parichay as a uh, rupanug bhajananandi they are just uh, uh, roaming the flag of rupanug bhajan but they are already lost <coughs> lost in the way of uh, actual uh, gaudiya bhajan they don't know their path actual pathway what the rup goswami pad and the shad goswami has told us so what are the characteristics of uh, rupanug rupanug bhajananandi what are what are the characteristics the humble mood is the top most uh, thing all our guru varg under the guidance of the shila rup goswami pad they always used to say that to serve our guru varg under the guidance of shila rup goswami pad is our rupanug bhajan whatever the direction and the path were given by our rupanu guru varg under the guidance of shila rup goswami pad is our rupanu bhajan but the persons who are going after lab puja pratishtha they are actually just want to make their own new pathway and just want to make their new party just want to increase their party whatever the pathway they are showing that is not the actual pathway and they will definitely go to hell for infinity period of this there is no doubt about it and that's why they are not at all counted in the rupanuga uh, rupanuga bhajan so they always used to count that how many followers we have like 10000 20000 how much they are following us everyone will go to hell definitely the pathway given by the mahajans they don't want to follow that and they want those who want to follow their new pathway and they always believe that whatever our rupanu guru var oh they don't have that much power so we have to go more advanced than them then if they think like that definitely the doors of hell are always open for them don't get uh, disturbed by this i am just speaking about that absolute truth slowly and steadily i will go uh how shila prabhupad the vichar of prabhupad and shila bhakti no thakur shila keshav goswami Maharaj. slowly and steadily i will just uh, open it in front of you i just want to uh, ask for your mercy and uh, just uh, uh, forgive me the shlok which i have started uh, before to get nishkapat bhav under the guidance of shuddh guru vaishnav if we will go ahead in the bhajan then we will we don't want anything apart from that that is the actual rupanugatya for us we don't want to become a karmi we don't want to become a, a gyani we don't want to become a... why because due to the defect of the internet there is a lot of disturbance in our katha so please just forgive me one chakal patru